Since I was really little, I've loved to do art. I feel like it's a great way for me to like express all my emotions and put it into paper to create a big masterpiece, I'll say. Art in general, especially art at this age, there's like no wrong answer. <laughs> and coming into an art room where it's like your ideas matter and your voice is important. As art teachers, we are able to bring up their confidence to anything can be art. You don't have to be able to draw realistically to make a really amazing art piece. Studio in a School has been funded by Burberry, a British fashion company, for three years. This year, the theme is Inspired Person. I think Studio in a School is really unique in that practicing artists come and instruct classes, which allows the students to have an experience with somebody who is out there, not only making work, but also participating in the culture of the, the art world. Matt came into the classroom and provided that studio experience where we were able to use like high quality art materials and really feeling like you're immersed into an actual studio working amongst other artists. I started the year by doing a self-reflection based on identity and then they had to come up with a list of words that they identified with. I design my phone by putting bright colors to express caring in a good way. So that project then turned into their Inspired Monument project. Who in their life inspires them? And what is a monument? It could be a hero, it could be a parent, it could be anything that you want. And then from that, they would build a structure, so learning about balance, how to manipulate paper, and build a foundation on which to build from. The person I chose that I was inspired by was my mom. She's very hardworking, and I just love her so much. My person that I chose was Rosa Parks. And I choose her because she didn't have the right to go on the bus, but then she made the right, she stood up. The project started off like a little mini project, super simple, making simple shapes, simple lines. And then it bridged off into learning how to create a simple face. We did some exploration of oil pastel. Students made an experimental drawing of an eye. And from there, we started with self-portraits, and from there we really opened it up as we started to create an expressive portrait of an inspiring person. It was like really freeing, because like I couldn't I could just do whatever I want. I didn't have to really make anything that realistic. Like you could tell it was a person, but it had characteristics that shouldn't belong on anyone. I chose one of my classmates because like he was like he's really funny if you can like see the enthusiasm and it inspired me to just draw him. It was mostly based on um, my family members. I decided to like put all the colors in it to express the emotions that they had. Red represented anger, yellow represented joy, blue represented sadness. Purple represented like a sort of love towards like everyone. When Glenn came, it was a great experience. I think it was like a really beautiful moment for that class. They were able to explore some of his pieces. Jesse Jackson the sign that they carried. And then it just turned into like an organic discussion. Have you thought of like making more abstract art? The most recent work is pretty abstract. It's based on letters. When you first started doing art, did you find anything that you struggled with? Oh, I struggled with everything. But that's the annoying and fun thing about making art. Do you prefer if people like, use a perspective on your art or if they just get the message out of your art? I don't think artwork has a message. I mean, I think it has a message, but I don't think it has one message. I think they were able to see a whole new perspective. Since he's born here, he understands uh, like certain things that happened here. I can learn through it through history. 
I'm still in shock that we had such a, you know, a well-known contemporary artist in our building, especially one who comes from the same community as our students. He absolutely represents the inspired person that this whole project is grounded on. So sometimes it's like... If a child has an opportunity right now to explore something and fall in love with it, such as visual arts, it could really change the trajectory of their life. They could end up applying to art high schools, and then from there, you know, in New York City, you can go to an amazing <laughs> college that also builds off of it. With art, you could, like, you could do something um, that nobody else has done maybe and and you'll be like you receive a lot of recognition and you know art is really good to have a successful future.